Thanks for checking out this episode of Brew Battle Beer Break. Today I'm doing a beer by Westbrook Brewing out of Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. I've actually, I believe, done one other one, which was a Grotzer, uh, if memory serves me properly. Uh, we've had some Westbrook stuff also on the podcast. I know we did the One Claw, which is a rye pale ale, which is good stuff. This one, in fact, is their fourth anniversary beer, which was, I believe, released back in December. Uh, this bottle comes compliments of Nathan Kalasnik, who has been on the show and has been a longtime fan of the show. So thank you very much, Nathan. I appreciate it. Um, this is the, well, the fourth anniversary is their Chocolate Coconut Almond Imperial Stout. Sounds good. A lot of awesome flavors uh, in that name. So hopefully they all come through and they work harmoniously. It's 10% alcohol because it is imperial. That's what happens. Let's go ahead and get this started. Very excited. This was actually uh, Rebecca, my wife's pick for the night. She was has been chomping at the bit to get this beer going. All right, Ooh. just got things running on the outside. All right, as you can see, as you would assume, it's very dark. It's got a kind of decent head to it when it was poured. Uh, looks pretty viscous viscous a lot of lacing on the edges as it's getting jostled around comes down slowly because 10 percent alcohol um the head is quite brown it's not just tan it's a little more brown than a, than i would typically say for a tan so let me see what i can smell oh yeah i immediately get the the chocolate um i'm trying to see if i can grab the actual coconut I'm having a hard time with the coconut. Not really getting the coconut. I'm definitely getting a lot of chocolate. I am getting that almond aspect, but it's not, it smells probably because of the chocolate. It smells a little less like actual almonds and a little more like an almond extract. Um, hmm. But tons and tons and tons of chocolate. I guess I'm picking up a little, little, little bit of the coconut, but it is so hard to get on that nose. But it smells like it is such a hearty, substantial, thick, viscous beer with all that chocolate. Like, it's like cocoa nibs were just, like, liquefied into this, pretty much, is how it smells. You're getting that almond extractiness. Let's try it. Pretty, yeah, decent thickness to it. Up front, getting a lot of the chocolate. Um, it also finishes with a lot of chocolate as well. Sorry, trying to pick everything out. I'm not really getting a ton of the coconut. I am getting like ee, just a skosh of it, but the almond, that kind of almond extracty taste is in there. Uh, the chocolate is kind of like roasty as well, which actually that roastiness is probably coming from I had read this ahead of time. They actually roasted the almonds before they put them in. So that roastiness is probably coming from that. Since I'm sitting here just talking, I'm starting to feel the warmth from that 10%, um, you know, warming up my throat now. Not in my mouth, though. It doesn't really, like, the alcohol doesn't sit there. It's just my throat is starting to feel it. Um, doesn't really taste very astringent. You could surprise someone by telling them it's 10% after they had it. You know, I feel like it could pass for, like, an 8%. So pretty well, pretty well made in that respect. Mm. This makes me want s'mores, to be honest. I'm starting to get a little bit more of, of that kind of coconut flavor, but um, definitely the, the center piece of this beer is the, are the cocoa nibs, which I'll read you. It's, uh, it's an imperial stout aged on toasted coconut, um, whole roasted almonds, cocoa nibs, and vanilla beans. Um, yeah, I get some of the vanilla and actually when I'm saying, when I was saying that the almond is tasting a lot like, um, and smelling a lot like almond extract, it's probably also the vanilla kind of playing around with the almonds to make it more extracty type flavor and scent. But this is a nice beer. It is quite nice. Mm. I'm liking that kind of like a bit of a roastiness that's uh that's playing around in that and it's kind of sitting on the end as well kind of lingers in your mouth a lot of 
a lot of cocoa, like I was saying, the cocoa nibs, but also I'm, I'm having it finish with some bitterness and the bitterness is sticking around a little bit and that I feel like it's not like an alcohol bitterness and it's not like a hops bitterness or anything. It's more of like a dark chocolate, like dark cocoa nibs type bitterness to it. So well done. I like this beer. I think Rebecca is definitely going to like this beer and Westbrook, thank you very much for making it. It's a hell of a sipping beer. Uh, great for dessert. Um, you could probably pair it with some stuff, but honestly, I would prefer to just have this as its own course, honestly. So thanks everyone for checking this episode out. If you can find any of the Westbrook 4th Anniversary, go ahead and get some for yourself and enjoy it because it's a nice beer. But in the meantime, go ahead and get yourself a nice beer to enjoy. Thank you.